Hey guys, this is Dark World of 1030 here, and um, today I just want to, I'm going to try to keep this video as short as possible. Um, I'm going to be at my sister's house for next week, so all my videos are going to be done on my iPad. So if you guys remember how my iPad videos look, I'm sorry, it's going to be like that for the next eight days. Um, I'm going to be watching the kids while my sister goes to Puerto Rico with her husband and have their honeymoon and whatnot, so... Um, yeah, so I'm excited, um, because the Vita comes out next week, but now I have some problems that I want to, uh, um, um, to, uh, say. I love Sony. I love their products. I think they make great products. I think it's fantastic, and they do amazing jobs. And I think it's wonderful. Xbox does not do it for me. Xbox at first started great, was fantastic, was phenomenal. What the hell does Xbox got now? It has no exclusives. Nothing. You know, Nintendo Wii just had Skyward Sword. Nothing. But PS3, you know, it, even though it's coming out with, you know, ports and stuff, that's good enough for me, you know? But, and it is coming out with regular stuff, like The Last of Us and, you know, things like that. So you're getting, you're getting games like Little Big Planet, Kart Racing, you know, there's a quote title fight, you know, things like that. Final Fantasy Versus 13, if they ever mention that again. But... Here's the thing that's really upsetting me about Sony right now. See, Sony is known for its bad its bad starters, but it killer endings. And it sucks because by the time it becomes good, the new systems are ready to come out. You know, so it, it's just it's pointless and it's ridiculous and it's so stupid. You know, but Vita is sure, people are gonna call it a port system. You know, all it is is ports. Ninja Gaiden Sigma Plus, Blaze Blue, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, Virtual Tennis 4, you know, Hot Shots, Wipeout, you know, Mard Nation Racer, Super Stardust, Rayman Origins, you know, all these games are ports. They're ports. You know, but... The thing, and then on top of that, see, the problem with Sony is that they're not mentioning other games that are coming out. They're not talking about that new Call of Duty that they announced. They're not talking about Street Fighter Cross Tekken. They're not talking about, you know, they're not talking about any games that are coming out. And I don't know if they're just being hush-hush, like they, 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 they're like slowing down on the video games and Resistance is, and Gravity Rush are going to be the last big game. And an E3 is going to come out, and that's when they're going to mention a whole bunch of other games. I hope that's the case. I mean, I don't want to have to wait all the way to E3 and then get disappointed. Oh, God. No, 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 no. This system just came out. I know it's February, then it's going to be March, April, May, June. So we have about three and a half months. Not that big of a long... I mean, it's not that long of a wait. I mean, but almost four months. It's... It's a long wait, but it's not that long. You know, if I could wait for the Vita, it's not that long. But I'm just saying, like, I don't know. I don't even know what the hell I'm saying anymore. I mean, Uncharted supposedly, I mean, not Uncharted. Um, Uncharted is supposed to get an online mode. Uh, Mod Nation Racer is supposed to get an online mode. You know, games are supposed to get an online mode. And, and I'm happy about this, but... One, I'm not happy about the, the network disabled features. I don't like how you're marketing the system. You know, the reason why people are not buying your system is because you're not saying any games that are coming out that are making people excited. You're not, you can't just say that a game is coming out. Like, you can't say, oh, there's a new Monster Hunter coming out. But you're not saying what kind it is. You're not showing pictures or screenshots to back up your point. That's the problem. You're not backing up anything that you're doing, and you need to wake up, Sony. You have to wake up. You've been quiet for too freaking long. I understand that you're changing CEOs. Things have to be changed. Things like that. But come on. Are you serious right now? Are you serious? The only good games that are coming out are, you know, Ninja Gaiden is coming out, but that's a port. Unit 13 is coming out, but that's pretty much SOCOM or whatever, but I'm still planning on getting it. And MLB The Show, and then Little Big Planet, I don't know when that's coming out. Mortal Kombat's coming out on April 12th, and then after that, Resistance and um, Gravity Rush are coming out at the end of May. 
and then like the second week of June is E3, and then we're gonna find out that we have to wait till next year for all these other Vita games to come out. Maybe by the end of Christmas, you know, by Christmas we're gonna have all these games that are gonna come out. That's not good, Sony. The whole point is that you're supposed to release games, you know, at least a month or two before it comes out. Now I can't talk this. I can't talk all this because I can't say this because I don't know if I can't. I can't say anything because I don't know what's going on. Maybe they're just waiting till after the system comes out and then they're going to come out with freaking news and they're not going to let it slip. Right now, they're just setting up. They're being very organized. And this is what I'm hoping. Sony, you need to really wake up. There's no commercials. Your Taco Bell thing, people have said it's a scam. They haven't, I don't even think they received it, even though they were promised to get the Vita early. I, I, I don't know what's going on. I really don't know what's going on. I want Sony to succeed. I want the Vita to succeed. I don't want it to be a PSP Go where nobody freaking bought it. You know, but this is different. You know, you're not forced to buy digital copies. You can buy retail copies if you want, and that's a smart move on Sony. But you may know you made backwards compatibility compatibility not work you've been giving us bad news ever since like ever since like okay you you release a system it looks amazing it looks wonderful yay i'm excited you know i'm excited yay 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 i'm excited you know all this stuff oh but it does not have a umd drive but there's a passport port program but they're telling you that you have to pay five dollars okay i think i can handle that i can handle that okay yeah that's cool i can handle that then you move on to the next thing, which is uh, PSP. Uh, then you're talking about like proprietary memory cards and them costing that amount and that it's absolutely necessary that you need it, even though you have games that are coming out on cartridges. Mm -mm, mm -mm. So that means that your console does not cost $249.99. It costs anywhere between $279 and $349.99. Not good, not good. And if I have to force to get a 3G version, that's going to be four ninety nine, ninety nine. You had to drop those prices on that memory card quick. Then you release the Vita in Japan, and it's not doing good. You post up commercials with Harrison Ford playing the Vita Uncharted, and you think that was going to sell Vitas? No, that wasn't going to sell no Vitas. And on top of that, you're releasing... So Nintendo killed you on that. And on top of that, you're selling less and less and less. Now, last week, you got to 13000 If you go under 10000 that is a problem. That is a huge problem. And I know that it hasn't come out in America yet. Next Wednesday it's coming out and we're going to find out things. And I'm terrified because it's coming out worldwide. And if it does not get anywhere, you know, if it does not get a million or a half a million, I'm freaking out. I will be freaking out. Like polls are saying that people don't want to get it, you know, things like that. But I don't know. I'm assuming that it's going to be like what PS3 was. When PS3 came out and God of War and Uncharted came out for the first time, people got PS3s when they when they went to a friend's house and they saw it like, oh, I want that. And they get it. So I am i don't know if you're just relying on word of the mouth this time around, especially since this is a portable system and what it can do. But anyways, guys, if you I don't think the price is the problem. I think it's the lack of advertisement and the lack of not knowing what future games are going to have. If people are willing to spend money for a tablet or something like this, um, then I'm pretty sure people would buy a Vita. Now, if they're not hardcore gamers, since that thing has a touchscreen, put some Angry Birds on there. Put some free games on that on that PSN store. Let uh, pe Let people create apps for it indie games and sell it for whatever they want to sell it for come on make it universal don't make it just you know just for the hardcore gamers i mean i want the hardcore games don't get me wrong but please sony i really want you guys to wake up or i hope that you have something up your sleeve because right now you guys are putting me in a position that i just feel as though that i'm just being cheated 
and I'm scared. I don't care if there's a price drop in two months or three months or in the summertime. I wouldn't feel bad, you know, whatever. But I'm because I got like uh, 12 games to kill. So I'm excited about that. But I just don't like the fact that you disabled network features. That completely like killed it for me. I'm like, what the hell did you, why the hell did you do that? Like I see Ninja Gaiden and I'm like, I saw Gravity Rush. I'm like, oh no, that's the last straw. How the hell am I supposed to play with my I like to talk to my friends, you know, and I like to play my Vita. Like if I'm stuck at my sister's house, I would like to talk to my friends on Vita. I mean, I there's nothing that Skype can't fix, but come on, seriously, why would you put party chat if I can't do that? You're basically going back to PS3 times. And if it's a battery issue, what? why not make it an option that to disable networks on games that take a lot of battery power? Why is it forced upon us? I mean, what if I'm the type of gamer that I like to have my charger connected onto the, you know, the charger all the time? You know, it's ridiculous. Anyways, guys, I'm really getting tired. I have to go to sleep because I'm freaking out here. Every time when I read the polls, every time when I go to forums, every time I go to this, I just keep hearing all these things, and it's just upsetting me to no end, and I really wish, and I'm hoping that Sony gets successful. Once again, this has been Dark Rule of 1030 here. I'm going to be at my sister's house starting tomorrow all the way through next week, and I'm hoping that you guys will continue watching. I will have my Vita video up by Wednesday, um, by Wednesday morning, maybe Tuesday midnight. I mean Wednesday at midnight, maybe Wednesday morning. I don't know when it's actually going to be posted up because I don't know if I'm going to the midnight launch or not. But um, I have to. I, I I'm going to show you guys gameplay videos. I'm going to show you guys. Um, uh, you know how to transfer like applications because I know nobody's done a video about that. A PSP thing. I don't have a PSP system, but I can show you what a PSP game looks like. You know, things like that. And um, remote play. So you guys can expect videos, you know, pretty much all next week and the week after that about Vita. But then, you know, after that, I'll cool it down with the Vita videos. Anyways, guys, I love your faces more than anything I, I really love your faces and I hope that you guys I wish you guys the best and I hope that you guys have a great day good night and I really hope that you guys are really considering getting the Vita um, because I, I, I just don't want this thing to fail and I, this really this 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 product is a really good product and I just don't want to bear to see it fail I can't see another PSP go anyways guys peace out